Well, the push to address the violence in schools comes after a second day of hard lockdowns at Desert Oasis High School. This time, several fights breaking out at once. And reporter Jeremy Chen is live outside the school in the southwest part of the valley with new video tonight and what parents at the school are saying. Jeremy. Yeah, Tricia, things are certainly a lot calmer right now outside of Desert Oasis High School. But earlier in the day, there were a lot of worried parents wanting to get their kids out of school because of that hard lockdown that happened earlier in the day. Now, according to CCSPD, the information we got within the past hour, one man has been arrested due in relation to the fighting that happened at the school, along with a juvenile and nine other juveniles were cited in relation to the fighting. A family I talked to say this pretty much says uh, all this is really multi layered when it comes to this particular issue. <laughs> Chaos breaking out inside Desert Oasis High School. This video filmed by a student shows a fight happening on campus Thursday. Some students worried about the violence. Having a second hard lockdown happen really, it, it just, it made the school feel really unsafe. This was the second lockdown in two days at the school. The Clark County School District says Thursday's hard lockdown was placed due to several fights breaking out. The first lockdown happened the day before due to reports of a weapon on campus. Freshman Micah Piper says there needs to be some changes. I feel like we need a bit more like supervision in the halls and other places. He says some of his classmates are more interested in social media clout than to help break up fights. It's like the first thing that happens is people pull out their phone instead of trying to stop it. So it's more popularity than safety. His mother, Val Rose Piper, says her son was attacked by a student earlier in the school year. She believes there needs to be stricter punishment for students provoking violence. My son was attacked. The boy was supposed to be out for five days and in two days he was back in school. She says while school police and school administrators can intervene, some responsibility falls on parents. It begins at home. You have to be there for your children. You have to talk to them. You have to know what's going on. What is their daily life at school?